Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to check out these Zega, I guess that says. Um, these are some cameras, security cameras. They're solar battery powered PTZ cameras. They have the solar panels. Uh, so pretty cool to have security cameras. And the ones that I like are not the ones you have to pay a subscription on. Some people have cameras like the Ring and stuff and every month they got to pay a bill. And I had had to ring one time, and it worked great, but I didn't see a point in paying a monthly bill when I could do the same thing with this. Basically, you hook this up, you connect it to your Wi-Fi, you can have your cell phone, you got the app on your cell phone, and as long as it's connected to your Wi-Fi, it sends you messages, lets you know if there's movement, uh, and you can record it, you can take it off onto your phone, off the camera. There's an SD card that goes in this, and it's just that simple. And you never have to worry about charging them or plugging in no power. You can just set these anywhere as long as it reaches your Wi-Fi because they have a solar panel. So as long as you aim it south, uh, up in the sky, you're going to get the sun to charge the battery up, and they just they work really good. And this is a PTZ camera, so you can tilt, pan, and zoom. You can zoom in, but I think it's digital zoom, but... Uh, it, they were pretty good. I actually took one out of this box already and installed it so I'd know how to kind of make the video what I wanted to say. And I installed it here on this container, which is my garage. So we're going to take this thing out of the box and check it out, show you what all parts come with it, and then I'll show you how I installed the one I have. So this is a kit of two. You can actually buy a single from this company. You can buy two. I think there's even kits of three or four. You can get different kits of however many you want. Uh, I just got a kit of two. So this does have the PIR detection. It says simple installation, two-way audio. So you can actually, uh, if somebody comes up to it, you can hear them. And you can actually press the button on your phone. And you can actually speak to that person. And they can speak back to you. Uh, pan, tilt, zoom. And then the built-in battery, of course. Now this is model RBX S50. So we will take this out of the box, and as I said, I've already removed one of them and got it installed, so I'd know exactly what to say about the setup on this thing. So here is our user manual, and it's, of course it's in different languages, but the user manual tells you all about setting it up, how to set up the app, and all that it tells you about the app, how to use the app, and when you're ready to download the app, you can just scan this little QR code or go to this link right here and download it. It's called Ubox. Or you can go to the App Store and just look for Ubox and download the app. Okay, now we have the solar panel. It's got a pretty long cable. I think that cable here is about 8 foot. And it is USB-C that plugs right into this unit. Now you could, if you didn't want to use the solar to charge it up, you could actually plug this into USB-C and power it that way and charge it also. So for the solar panel, it comes with this mount, which is a swivel mount, screws out on the back and you can adjust it wherever you want. It's a nice little mount. And then it also comes with this pack of screws right here to mount it with different options as far as screws. And it comes with a USB-C charging cable. And then last we have the camera itself. Now if you order the two kit, of course you're gonna get two of everything here. And then, of course, the camera, it's going to mount like this right here. And this camera is 2K video, 3 megapixel, Super HD. These are the antennas. We just fold them up like this. And then peel off this little thing in the front. It also has the LED lights, so you can actually turn on the LED lights at night. Or you can you can have them on or off, depending on how you want it. Of course, then it, it tilts this way. Pan. And then... Zoom. It has a four power zoom, uh, 355 degree as far as turning. It turns pretty much back this way to this way, 355 degrees. It has 100 degree tilt. So this one connects to your Wi Fi 2.4 gigahertz. It does not have the 5 gigahertz, which you really don't want the 5 gigahertz because of the distance. The 2.4 gigahertz reach out a lot further, so you can put this further away from your house. Of course, it does have alarm triggered recording, so any movement it sees by the little eye right here, it's going to start recording. 
Now you can record to the SD card or you can actually pay a subscription for their cloud service. I don't do cloud service, but I use an SD card, but you can have that option if you want it. It does have the PIR human detection. You can adjust the sensitivity on how sensitive it is. If there's something moving all the time, a little bit, something small, you don't want it picking that up. So you can change the sensitivity so it don't do that. It also does have a siren, so uh, you can set the uh, siren on, and if it detects motion, then the siren will go off. This is IP66 rated for outdoors, definitely made for outdoors. It does have mounts here where you can mount it up on something like that, or you can mount it to the back. It has four mounting spots here on the back. On the bottom right here, we have our power switch to turn it on. And on this side, we have our DC in which is where you would connect your solar panel by the USB-C. On the bottom of the camera itself right here, we have the place for the SD card. It takes a micro SD um, TF card. Pull that open like so. And right there where your SD card goes, and then there's also a reset button. So before you set this up, when you first power it up, you're supposed to push the reset button to reset it. And then you go through the setup process on your phone, which is really simple. Now this little solar panel is plenty to keep this charged. So once it charges during the day, it's world's plenty to keep this running all night long, recording whatever you do, any action that you want to catch on it. This is a 3.5 watt solar panel. Uh, the battery inside here is a 7800 milliamp hour. Also, as far as the SD card, this thing will accept up to a 128 gigabyte SD card. Okay, so as far as the app, you can see it on the screen right here. It's called the UBOX app. Download it from your app store. You can see here that I already have the camera set up. It's aimed toward my Gladiator and toward our RV. Uh, but if you want to add a camera on the top right corner, you can see the plus and click on that. And then choose set up a Wi-Fi device or set up a 4G device. Power on your camera and check that the blue indicator LED is blinking. Instructions. I promise you, it's just super simple to do. As far as the app here itself, you can see on the front here different things you can do. But if you click on the video itself, now once it loads, you can see the live video of what's going on. Okay, you can see on my shipping container where I have this mounted right up there at the top of the shipping container. Definitely need to paint this container, but there's the antennas aimed up and I've got it aimed toward the rear of the container. Then I run my cable across the top. And because this is the south side, this is where I put my solar panel on this side, aimed toward the south so it gets the most sun during the day. Pretty slick, should work pretty good. I've had it working here now for a couple days and it definitely works every time it sees motion. So I definitely like it, it's definitely a plus. Uh, that's the end of this video guys. I will post a link in the description where you can check one of these out. Thank you all for watching. Click the thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Stay tuned for those little video clips.